Welcome back to Alaska Cabin Adventures. With the long and sunny days of March upon us, we decided to pack up the mobile cabin on wheels and head up for the mountains for a day of ptarmigan hunting and winter camping. With a foot of fresh snow and temperatures in the single digits, it's definitely still winter here in Alaska, but the clear skies mean sunshine and a chance to see the northern lights. What's up guys? It is a beautiful spring day up here in Alaska. We're gonna do some ptarmigan hunting and camp out for the night. This is our new setup. This is a uh, Ford F-250 with a Lance Squire light. It's from the 90s and it's the lightest uh, camper that Lance ever made. I'll give you guys a full tour of this thing later on, but I just wanted to show you the rig. This is bringing up some turkey sandwiches. Yeah. Ready to go. We made it and what's cool is that it's only about a half an hour 45 minute drive from the cabin up to here we're gonna get our snowshoes on and head up this valley see if we can't find some ptarmigan they are like the alaska version of a game bird like a pheasant or something like that it's basically a little tundra chicken they turn totally white in the winter and in the summer they get totally different like uh brown and black and gray plumage they're really good eating and uh, if we find some we'll probably just get a one or two for dinner otherwise it's just gonna be a nice day trudging around in the mountains Toasty. It's hot. It is. Might get a sunburn today. Well, the trail is non-existent. We thought we'd have a little bit of a hard pack snow machine trail to work on, but it's gone. So we're just breaking trail. All right, well, we tried out a, a different spot here down the road a little ways. And as soon as we got moving, we ran into a absolutely massive moose. And uh, so anyway, we're walking through the woods to get around the moose and see if we can't find some ptarmigan. Hey. Norm's not much of a hunting dog, but he loves to chase ptarmigan, but can't point or flush or do anything right. He just runs and chases them around. So if we get onto some birds, Louisa will hold on to him and I'll go ahead and put a stock on him. See that moose down in that tree? I don't know if you guys can see him down there, but he's staked out underneath this big spruce tree and he's, that's where he remains. He ain't moving for nobody, certainly not us. I peeked up over that little berm and there was a huge moose standing right in front of me. It looked back up at me, so I abandoned that area pretty quickly. This place is crawling with moose.
All right, well, we're getting really tired. We've been trudging around on the mountains for quite a few hours, and we're about to just turn around. And then just now, across the way, across this steep gully, you probably can't see it, but right up in there, there's hundreds and hundreds of ptarmigan tracks. So that's definitely where the birds are hanging out. The problem is we're over here and they're over there. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can get close to them, huh, Norm? All right, well, I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, there's all the ptarmigan. There's probably at least 40 or 50 hunkered up right on the hillside. The problem is there's an impassable gulch down here, super steep, deep canyon walls. Sometimes it's the way it is when you're hunting. All right, so we're way up valley now to where it's starting to flatten out and there's hundreds more tracks in here. So I think this is where the birds are. So this is gonna be our best bet. All right, well, the we're gonna have eluded us thus far. You can hear them in the distance, but uh, I don't know. They might get the best of us today. No ptarmigan. Maybe we'll get one on the way back, but I thought for sure we'd get one up here. Anyway, some days you get them, some days you don't. So we're gonna go back to the camper and play cards, play cards and eat a lot of food. Whew, bummer. All right, we'll start the walk back. I'm tired. Yeah, long day. Yeah, and the car is all the way up over that ridge. We'll get there. Well, I think we found our camping spot for the night. Pretty sweet spot. Give you guys a quick tour of the rig. We got a Lance Squire light camper. It's like a 1994, I think. And uh, this camper only weighs 1,450 pounds dry. Uh, so it's a really great option for like an F-250 without having to beef up the leaf springs or anything like that. Uh, we took this camper on a, like a 2,000 mile road trip all the way up to Prudhoe Bay on the Hall Road last year and it did great. So it has all the uh, basics that you would need like propane heater, a fridge and a cooktop and then a sleeping area. And uh, that's it. Where there normally would be like a bathroom, there's just a big closet, which I actually prefer. Uh, tons of space for storage. It also has like an outdoor shower and stuff hooked onto it, which we never use. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a great camper. I got it for like a couple thousand bucks from a guy who even installed the uh, tie downs for me because he had the same truck. So he's just a really nice guy who was like, oh man, you got the same truck. Let me go ahead and switch over my tie downs for free. So yeah, it was a really great deal. And uh, we'll go take a look inside. Norm's already in bed. Norman wastes no time getting comfortable after a long day. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's tired out. Anyway, here's the sleeping area. Um, we uh, put in um, cedar paneling up over the top, which smells nice and looks nice. We're gonna redo the rest of the camper with that kind of wood paneling stuff too, but um, yeah, the cab over area. And then there's this nice like storage loft for bags and things like that. And there's Louisa. There's our like dinette hangout area and a little ukulele that we travel around with for jamming. Um, cook area, like I said, just a, a range. I wish it had an oven. That's one thing I'm thinking about cutting this area out 
and putting an oven in instead because then you could just do easy freezer meals. Uh, it has a propane slash electric fridge, which right now is empty because it's the middle of the winter. And um, a sink, nice little window to look out, some lights. I put in all LED bulbs into everything. Then like I was saying, instead of a bathroom, it just has this big closet, which you could put like a porta potty in if you wanted to. But instead, it's just this great storage closet. It has tons of room, all sorts of space. And uh, keep a little Yamaha 1000 watt generator in here just in case the battery dies or we need to recharge it or something like that. It's a really nice um, generator to have on the go. Last but not least, it has a coat closet. Keep all of our coats and whatnot. Really nice, because if you guys have ever done, gone truck camping, you know that things get cluttered and you run out of space really super quick. So the more space, the merrier. And then um, this dinette area turns into a bed which is actually really easy to do. This table just drops down, slides in, and then all the other ones come together, and it's a nice extra bed. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Got the dog right here. This is our cabin away from the cabin, so we're gonna do some remodeling to it this year and make it really feel like a tiny cabin on wheels, like Mr. Truckhouse Life. I think it'd be fun to get a cool wallpaper to cover the fridge. And then you were gonna do a, like a cork board here. Or travel things. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Lisa's mm -hmm. cooking up some dinner. Gourmet. We're having soup and hot dogs. Chicken corn chowder and gourmet hot dogs. The finest chicken corn chowder from Safeway. Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar. Norm's very interested in what's going on. Despite being a little tired, he's showing a little spunk. Well, we were gonna start a fire and sit outside, camping style, but it's like one degree outside. And we're exhausted and wet and tired and been out in the cold all day, so we are gonna stay in the cozy camper and eat some food, stay warm and dry, so it's gonna be good. Well, we didn't get any ptarmigan today, but we sure did get an awesome sunset. Pretty sweet spot for truck camping. Well, that was an awesome day. Got a lot of sunshine, dropped around in the mountains, and uh, got to hang out with this character. Anyway, we're gonna call it a night, put on a movie, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Problem. Well, we had a great night in the camper, but it's time to get rolling. We got to get back down to the cabin. Got some chores to do.
All right, guys, well, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget that all the music in my videos is totally original, written by me and my buddy Forrest Wilson. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Alaska Cabin Adventures.